if your focus is clear, then anything can possible in the world. Definitely. I, I, uh, from the last one year, I have been sleeping for two or three hours. Okay. And I am working so hard for my family and for my, for myself especially because I want to be someone and I want to be, uh, I want to contribute in my society. Uh, it it is my purpose right now, and mm. I'm alhamdulillah supporting my family, and my husband is supporting me very much. My parents, I'm the only child of my parents, so okay. that's another. You can say this is luck, good luck, but for me it's a bad luck because I I don't have anyone to talk, to yeah. say what I'm feeling like, to share my sadness or anything or happiness. Uh, I don't have anyone. I just share my things, everything with my parents and my husband. My son is very little. He is uh, only three years old now. Mm -hmm. So that's it, my family. But I'm living in a joint family. My um, uh, in-laws family, we, we live together. And yeah. We have lots of people here. So all together, I'm very happy, alhamdulillah. And I'm, I'm doing, a, doing a great uh, effort to be someone in my career. <laughs> in freelancing and alhamdulillah my buyers are very good and i'm especially meeting with some nice person through fiverr and for whom i am working now they are all my uh, continuous buyer i'm working two or uh, from uh, two comp in two company from last one year and they are very pleased with my work so this is another thing i never thought that uh, this uh, this can be possible mm. one year before. I never thought that. Well, listen, I mean, you're, you ooze with energy. Um, <laughs> you're going to absolutely love Anasuya because she has an online shop thing for mothers yeah. and women. Oh, so nice. when she comes into the room, okay. yeah, yeah, you two would definitely uh, have a lot in common. Also, I just finished this. I can see it. Empowering so, woman, change the world. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, now it's Something Melinda Gates nice. from the Bill and yes. Gate, Mil Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Bill Gates, Microsoft. Have you okay. heard? So she's. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. So in that book. She gives many examples, but one of the things she talks about is that um, aid has traditionally been given to men. And 75% of the world's farmers are women. And yeah. they're also mothers. And they're also expected to pull all the work in the home. Yeah. And so because they're so busy they don't get to go to these training exercises to learn yeah. how to farm better and increase their yield so there's they're trapped in a cycle where they can't get any better because they don't get the knowledge because they haven't got the time mm -hmm. and um it's some, there's some really interesting uh, ver uh examples of how the stereotypical thing of what a woman should be gets challenged but it does so in a way that makes so i don't know you so i only bring this up because i know there's a relation so in the developed economies britain and what have you it's still massively unequal so unequal, right yeah yeah okay. so women probably do I think it's about 95% of all of the domestic work. And that includes dropping work to go and get a child who's ill. Blah, blah, blah. So even without the pandemic, working women, working mothers are chasing a dream that they cannot actually do without killing themselves. So there was a research into the fact that if men take on half the household duties then romantic liaison is much more likely because the woman isn't oh, tired, tired, dead at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. So there's an example, oh, bloody hell, it might be that book, it might be another one. 
I've got a I've got a pile of hold on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen pile of fifteen books to read and um, a pile of ten books that I have read that I'm going to review but it's um yeah oh. volition, volition is coming in now wow huge yeah well I it's funny actually because <laughs> I'm dyslexic um but I love books um so. Yeah, who knew? Oh, hmm. oh! I love also reading books, but uh, nowadays I don't have time to read anything. Look, with a three-year-old, you've got no time. To, I am yeah, on the run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Uh, hey, hello. <laughs> How, are, How you? are you? I'm well. God, it's been so long. <laughs> it has. How are things? Um, I am recording. Sorry. Yeah. Do you want to? We'll have another. We'll have a Zoom catch up. Uh, yeah. Cool, sweet. Um, Volitionally, me now, Malaya, Malaya, Maliha, Malia, Maliha. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, uh, Mali, no, Malaya, Maliha, Maliha. Maliha. Yeah. Maliha. Good. We, Very yeah, good. okay. <laughs> oh blimey, Gregory's turned up as well. They're all they're all piling in now. Yeah, so Malia was telling me about um she's uh focusing working mums um to actually so she's a digital marketing freelancer and she's got this model where she can empower other mothers to learn about organic growth by using keywords and stuff like that. Ooh, look at Gregory, freshly shaved. He's got his background. <laughs> so we're recording and we will, now that there's more of us in the room, we'll get kicked out after 40 minutes, but just all piling on the same link when that happens. I'll let you know. So basically, Malia, 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 yeah. Maliha. Maliha. I'm going to get it wrong. Bound to. Hey. Um, was explaining about her business. We've recorded some stuff already. And I explained to Maliha that, Volushni, you're the person who told me about this first of all. And I went, oh! and that's why this exists. So, <laughs> um, because I've already got Miliha recorded, do you want to, Volushni, sort of say who you are and um just what just we'll talk about some of the experiences you've had and then see how they resonate with Malia and uh Anusia should be here shortly so tell us about yourself Alishni. Hi 